Thank you for joining us for our daily gospel reflection. My name is Maureen Demler. I serve as deacon at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Let us pray. O oh God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel according to Luke the fifth chapter, beginning at the first verse. When the people pressed upon Jesus to hear the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, and he saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he sent him to put out a little from the land, and he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had ceased speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great shoal of fish, and as their nets were breaking, they beckoned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. Henceforth you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. Here ends the lesson. Imagine what Peter, a professional fisherman, thought when carpenter Jesus decided to dispense some free, unsolicited advice on fishing. The first rule of fishing, Peter, is you've got to go to the fish. They generally don't swim to you. To find the big fish, you have to go out into deep water. Well, yeah. Have you ever presumed to know more about abundance than God? At least once a day, I say to God by my actions, I know more about healing more about forgiveness, more about money, more about the way things work than you do, God. Get out of my boat. Seriously, I'm that reluctant to see what God might do through me. That's what Peter says to Jesus right after he catches more fish than he dreamed possible. You'd think Peter would sign Jesus up as a partner in the business. Instead, Peter responds, Get away from me, Lord. I don't deserve this. Don't ever come fishing with me again. Jesus ignores that and deepens Peter's job into a bottomless vocation to become a fisher of people. Maybe what we are most afraid of is not scarcity, but abundance. 
The scarcity of the shallows isn't deeply fulfilling, but it's familiar. At least there, we can see the bottom. Let us pray. God, the good and scary news is you want to give me more blessing than I think I deserve or can handle. Please, please ignore my reluctance and push me out into deeper waters. Amen. Mm-hmm.